I'm He's rich. rich. <laughs> I'm Othello. I'm Aaron. I know my name. And I'm, I'm just, John. I was just making sure. And by our fandoms united or combined, it's been too long. I don't remember how to say it. We're fandom united. <laughs> See, we need jelly here to keep us all on track. Um, <laughs> all right, so. We would have had some good news that jelly would have jumped on, too. What's the good news that jelly would have jumped on? Uh, I don't remember it anymore. <laughs> See, because I, I just assumed it had something to do with sumo wrestling. I just didn't know. It just, I didn't know if there was like a new line of Nike sumo diapers or something that she would be really excited about. I assume Nike's got some sumo diapers out there. I mean, they're they got their hand in every other sport. I mean, I normally wouldn't make fun of sumo, but I don't know any. I've never seen any here in the U.S., so I feel kind of safe because uh, those dudes are mean. But you know, it's a little. <laughs> I don't know. That just seems like a boring sport. Kind of like fencing. Like, I could never watch fencing. It just, I mean, I sure I respect it as a sport, but I okay, couldn't one, watch it. I can't believe we're going to talk about this with Jelly not being here. And two, I can't believe she started this. Um, and three, I still can't believe we're going to talk about this. But I, I, she sent out a link because, like, the Sumo World Championships are going on. Did anybody else get a chance? Yeah, to- no. I, I did. <laughs> I did. It really piqued my interest for a first. really big thing. No, it did. It, it's it was it was interesting for a brief moment to see like a two hundred and fifty pound guy like be able to beat a three hundred and fifty pound guy. Like he goes in the ring, and you're like, oh, that little dude is dead. I actually I have watched it in the past. Like I just, the strategy and you know like oh, the the show. huh? But I don't know if it would be my my sport du jour, um, my combat sport of choice. I think I'd still at least default to MMA because <clears throat> I'm an American, I guess. Um, and we just like it dumb. Yeah. Right. <laughs> dumb and bloody. Yeah. I agree. So, I mean, so hey, we, there's we your, there's actually... Your, there's your wrestling segue. Jump in there. We yeah, actually talked about sumo. So, okay, well, thanks for tuning in, in for this episode. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Try, John. <laughs> that's all the time we've got for that's this all the time episode. we've got for this week um I'm missing the hottest thing in the world right now that's all i'm saying <laughs> well i'm, I'm yeah. sure there's people it's in night the wars it's a million dollar product on Fro- fox on fridays but it's anyway it's more important even... it's more important news and more important okay news true more important news is of course that we've all seen that disney and sony kind of made nice and they have put together a new deal. It's only for two movies, so let's not get too excited. Um, that returns Tom Holland's Spider-Man to the MCU. So they're going to do the third movie. So basically Kevin Feige and the Marvel writers can help Sony get out of that hole that they wrote them into at the end of Far From Home. And they're going to then have one more Spider-Man appearance in another MCU film. We don't know which film that will be. A lot of people are speculating it'll be Captain Marvel. Um, I hope not. A lot of people are speculating it'll be something else, so kind of like a passing of the torch thing. But that coming to, them coming to that agreement though, that's just finishing out what the original roadmap the original was. Plan was. Yeah, yeah, but the original plan ended with Far From Home, and they didn't have any more pictures. Uh, even though Tom Holland had a, a longer deal with Sony, the deal with Sony and Disney ended at Far From Home. Okay. Which was so weird. To me. So it was five pictures right. that they did, but they used Spider Man in three of the MCU films and only two solo movies. They gotcha. on it, they obviously wrote it expecting to be, be able to make another movie. Or did they write it expecting like, you know what, we're just kind of gonna write them, force them into this to corner force them into the corner. I, I yeah. mean, <laughs> we're gonna pigeonhole you into this, and, and we know you can't it. write out of it because you guys don't Rope have access dope. to the characters. <laughs> And all of the Spider-Man characters, or all of the Marvel characters that we're referencing, you guys don't have access to them. Mm-hmm. You only have access to the Spider-Man ones. How are you going to write yourself out of it? So it's rumored that, so originally the deal that Disney wanted was 50-50. They put up half of the cost for production, take half of the box office. Sony was like, are you kidding? This movie's the only reason we barely made profitability last quarter. So no, that ain't happening. So Disney went back with the 20, 20, uh, or 25-25. We'll put up 25%. We'll take 25 of the box. Sony didn't respond. Disney got tired of waiting. They backed out of talks. Um, so a lot of people are speculating the new deal is similar to that, maybe with a little bit lower percentage, like 20%. And then Disney's just going to get a smaller percentage of the box uh, office, but heard, it's still going to be a lot more than the 5% of gross that they were getting before. I heard they were uh, doing production, full production and 25% back. 
Who, Disney doing a full production? Mm-hmm. No, no, I don't see them mm-hmm. doing a full production on a Sony film. Um, just for yeah, no, no, I don't see that. Well, they they make their money like before the twenty five percent, so that's I don't see it sense. because I mean they already have merchandising, right? So they're mm-hmm. going to get paid. I don't see they're going to get paid. I don't I, because even doing fifty percent, Sony was like, no, no, you're not going to pay for fifty percent of the movie because they knew they weren't getting that it. Disney would then say, well, we're going to get fifty percent of the profits. We we already put this money up. And I don't see Sony wanting to give it. But here's here's the kicker. Sony Pictures isn't doing well. No. It is teetering on the brink. And it has been for years. And there have been rumors of it being sold for years. And Apple has mm-hmm. been sniffing around yeah. but they Sony. Don't, but they don't get they don't get Spider Man. No, sense. and that's that's what I was getting ready to say. That's the beauty of it. Is no matter what, if Spider-Man's Apple buys Sony Pictures, the rights for Spider Man revert back to marvel if anybody buys sony pictures the rights for spider-man revert back to marvel automatically love it love it love it love it Boy, that's what i'm hoping for what's, what's crazy is i was just reading uh today that uh i guess it was in the 1970s that authors if they sell their property intellectual property after 30 years mm-hmm. they have the right to refusal and get that property back that's what's happening with Terminator right now. It said the same thing with Die Hard and Predator. <clears throat> hmm. uh, quick side note. I don't want to really get into it, though, but uh, Stanley's daughter is fighting to get uh, basically get free money for what her dad did. Mm-hmm. No. Well, I don't think <laughs> it's the Marvel on. properties that she's yeah. suing for. It's the properties that he created under, was it POW Entertainment or mm-hmm. whatever his other uh, company he started oh she tried to do Marvel and yeah she tried to do Marvel okay, she put she in can, a lawsuit and, no, yeah, they, she they, can they, shut they that down they laughed at her yeah <laughs> she can, she can <laughs> shut that down, junk down like, the power entertainment stuff though I think she has a really good case because mm-hmm. I, I think they're just kind of dirty in the way the contracts and stuff like that that they signed and her whole thing in that uh, lawsuit was that um, elder they he was he was elder abuse basically like he was too old he wasn't really in his mental full mental capacities and they, they took, advantage him, of took him. advantage of him convinced him to sign those contracts but still everything i've heard about her she's a spoiled brat oh yeah and she's she, all about the money i, I she, don't well she didn't have she stopped having a relationship with him in general yes but now all of a sudden she wants to protect his mm-hmm. legacy mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. right yeah i would say anybody in that situation yeah <laughs> If you're restrained, you're done. You, you you got no right to say anything. You're yeah, done. I mean, it's kind of evident if he didn't hand it to her when he died, he didn't want her to have it. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Um, yeah. She's, but anyway, uh, yeah. moving on, no. She yeah. can't have it. I, look, I think we've already said, we talked about it, and we already said what we wanted to say about it. <laughs> so, Holland will be back in the MCU. Two movies. Don't get excited. Um They'll finish off the trilogy, which will be nice to just see the ending of the story. There's some people that don't like Tom Holland's Spider-Man. What? Yeah, I know. There's some people that don't. Some people do. Eh, um, yeah, that's got to be a, that's got to be a minority, like a small minority. I like the kid, like and and Spider-Man. my wife, who is uh, even Stanley said he thought he was the perfect Spider-Man. I mean, yeah, but it's Stanley trying to pad that bank account before he checked out. I'm so, just saying. Mm-hmm. but. I mean, I converted my wife to geekism, and uh, <laughs> and so she was like, you know, Tom Holland is her favorite, and she's seen all the Spider-Man movies, and Tom Holland is her favorite Spider-Man. She was like, she was really happy to hear that news, because the first thing she said was, oh, good, now we get to see how they can figure out that ending, because how the heck are they going to get away from that? Mm-hmm. And the rumor is, There's what are the rumors? Movie. Spider-Verse. I've really? heard this. Yeah, you see, you've heard and a, and a so Madam, a Madam, a Madam Web, Madam Web. Movie. yeah, no, we're not doing a Madam Web movie. Y'all can stop that noise so, right now. That junk ain't happening. Geez. So Spider Verse, right? So they they roll that up into Spider Verse in the next movie. Then you get Peter and maybe his crew. They get shifted or whatever to another universe where his identity is safe, which happens Ew. to be the Sony universe where Venom is. Ew. And then maybe. Ew. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I can I tell you if, if Kevin's I don't involved in this, he won't let that see that story happen. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't. I hear that rumor, and I keep reading. it. I'm like, I'm not feeling that. No. One, because the dude is a diehard Spider-Man fan, and two, he is not going to let them just put out <laughs> just crap movies. But Sony, ha- Sony has put out 
a great Spider-Man film. Well, I would say two great Spider-Man films themselves. The very first one with Tobey Maguire, I think, was well, actually the second one was really good. Mm-hmm. I loved uh, the second one with Doc Ock. That was that was probably that my was favorite portrayal of Doctor. And then they just the third one wasn't. I don't, I don't care. Boat. As soon as they said one. Telfer Grace was cast as Eddie yeah. Brock, I remember Jump reading that. that. I was just like, "Well, that's a no for me." Jump um, that shark. But beyond that, Into the Spider Verse, I to me is my favorite Spider Man movie, and it was because maybe because it was so colorful, maybe because it was so. It was so much that they did in that movie that you can't do in live action yeah, and, you and have it look good. Half that stuff. Um, I loved them talking about the Spider-Verse, which is one of the cooler aspects in the last 20 years, just so they talk about Spider-Man, all the different mm-hmm. variations of Spider-Man. And, and they avoided so Madam cool. Web, which was good. Yeah. She's and, and usually the, and the, and the connected with the web of fate. <laughs> I, I remember watching the cartoon and like any time like there's several times that she would pop out of us and I just even as a kid I did not like oh, those that, episodes. That's, that's when the cartoon lost me. It's yeah. When she, uh, when she showed up in the web of fade and blah blah uh, blah. blah, 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 blah. You would oh, yeah. think you would think as as like a twelve year old kid, like I still would have been fine with it, but even then I just I hated those episodes. Yeah. I don't blame you. Alright, so Kids we, know bad. Kids can know bad. Yeah. I don't see one yeah. As a kid, there's a lot of things that I, I... I watched a lot of garbage as a kid, but, I mean... We all did. Stuff that's like, Ultra. I know that this is garbage as I'm watching it, you know. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of things that I, like, hold... I held in a high standard until I went and rewatched this, and I was like, why why, why did I Why did I watch that? this? Oh, the first yeah. Yeah, yeah, a couple of years, I felt... That's why I didn't like, like Doctor Who as a kid, because it was so bad. Yeah. That's why I did like it, because it was bad. Okay, so... <laughs> it was... You were bad. supposed to see the strings <laughs> I, on the spaceships <laughs> bad. It was... Bad. It was campy bad. And now... <laughs> it, now it's kind of like they take themselves too seriously, they do but you're still bad. That's why David Tennant's was the best run it was of right Doctor down Who, the as we just... Whoop! So I just made that quick left turn. Oh, that was my right hand. I'm wow. To them, to them, it's not water in here. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> I need to call an Uber to get home. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. The the new ones are okay. David Tennant was probably the best of the new ones, but yeah, I, yeah, Doctor Who wasn't. It was it was corny, campy, and I and I you loved just, it. Dare to say bad. I, I loved it because it was see, bad. And see, there's a lot of 80s bad movies that I love. Because Night of they Comet, are I bad. I watch it every time it comes on. See, that movie I literally, is a movie so Last bad. month, I probably watched <laughs> it's like the rape. over and over again. Uh, what was the Roddy Piper? Um, uh, oh, they, uh, live. they Live. I watched that <laughs> ten times last month. Just because I'm like, I love this movie. I <laughs> so love that movie. It's like The Wraith. Yes, the so Wraith is the worst garbage ever. It's it's the crow in a car, but I watch it. It's a crow if the crow is done very very poorly on a low budget in ten days. Was it, that movie shot that? Uh, it was less than a month. Yeah, they like knocked it out. It was in the middle of winter too. There's a lot of beach scenes in it that they were freezing. Well, in that case, that is a That's monumental achievement That's in filmmaking. Yeah. Hmm. For them to put together that movie in less than a month. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Um, no, mine was, uh, I was really into video games. So I was really excited when, you know, the Super Mario cartoon came out and The Legend nope. of Zelda. Like, <laughs> no, I as, know where you're In going. my mind as a kid, those were great shows. And then me and my buddy got drunk one night. I'm like, hey, let's go watch those yet. shows on YouTube. Oh, wow. You know, so have you Link watched was Captain very Nintendo rapey. Yet? Have you tried to watch Very Captain rapey. <laughs> <laughs> I was not expecting that, but... Oh, okay. my God. I wasn't either. <laughs> it, 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 <laughs> like he needs therapy right now. Like, he, like, especially in this climate. Like, like Pepe Le Pew rapey? Yeah. Like, okay. Yeah, like, try to find those old cartoons anywhere. Yeah. W, Warner Brothers acts like Pepe Le Pew never existed. Or Speedy Gonzalez. Mm-hmm. He wanted to kiss Zelda in every episode. She kept telling him no. And he would kept keep going. And then she was in the bedroom. Time. I was like, "Well, well, I'm just gonna make come on in." Like, it was, it was bad. <laughs> I did not. As a kid, that filter was right there. I did not notice any of that stuff. I can see you editing true. something really nice out of that. Place. Yeah, I, I can't. I can't wait to watch this episode. Put it um, out there. You'll make a mint. 
<laughs> it, there was there's plenty of shows like I'm looking around like there's tons of He Man action figures in the store here, and we got like giant Castle Grayskull over there and all this other stuff. And it's just kind of like I watched that show, went back and watched the original He Man show. <laughs> it's bad, <laughs> bad. It is really bad. And I'm <laughs> my kids are like, Dad, why did you watch it? And I'm like, I don't. Oh, because we didn't have anything else. We didn't have. <laughs> we, you know what I'm saying? You came home, right? Cartoons were on. Those were the cartoons that were you're on. Here, you're, you're we didn't choice. have the choice of cable. We didn't have 200 channels. We had like five. Me and maybe. my kids watched that 2000 He Man that came out. That one was great, good. great show. And my kids loved it. And it's something that we all said. And I hated He Man as a kid because it was just so bad. Um, bought a bunch of stuff, got a, the DVD set was mm-hmm. thrown in with a lot that I bought on eBay. And so I'm like going through all the toys. I'm like, Hey, you know what? We finished, you know, the new series. You guys want to watch these old cartoons? You know? So I threw in the first episode. We got two episodes in. And yeah. And it's like, yeah. At that time, my boys were probably seven and five and they're like, dad, this is bad. Please turn it off. And I'm like, you know what? Right there with you. <laughs> My, my, I have a similar story with my boys with Voltron. Oh, yeah. And my boys are going to be watching I, this, I and they will remember. I, I got all the DVDs from the library because Voltron and Voltron, it was before Voltron had come out on Netflix, right? So this was what, like three, four years See? ago? See? So you had a nostalgia filter on. Right. You remembered it So I'm like, there. hey, let's check this out so we can see the OG Voltron, and then we'll be ready for the new <laughs> show, and we can watch this up until the time the new show comes out, right? <laughs> We get it at home, and we pop it in and watch a couple episodes. I <laughs> I immediately go into the self-protection nostalgia coma. <laughs> it's like, oh, this is bad, and I'm going to know it. <laughs> I'm on the couch knocked out, right? <laughs> so my kids are watching something else, doing something else. And so I say, hey, um, take these DVDs downstairs, and you guys can watch them before the show comes out. And I remember one of my boys coming up and asking me, Dad, do, do we really have to watch this? <laughs> we don't have, it was like I was punishing them. Like, we don't have to watch this, do, do we? Do? Like, yeah, like, what do we do? I'm like, oh, oh no, baby, it's okay. You don't have to watch them. I just thought you might enjoy them. No, we don't. No, and I looked at it, it, I'm like, you're right. These are really bad. <laughs> like, how did this survive? <laughs> this is tripe. So, yeah. My eyes, I'm probably going to take heat for this, but... And the storylines were good, and I liked the way it was on the first cartoons. They went from episode to episode. And I all love the how text. he's trying to justify yeah. it already. <laughs> the original X Men cartoon. That was a oh my god! It was great, but it's it doesn't care. it doesn't hold up. It does not hold up. I've tried. Okay, it. I haven't I haven't watched it. You just the action tried to is so it. slow. You're talking the, like the nineties with the 90s. Jim Lee. Yeah, yeah. X Men. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. The storylines are great, but the action is just slow, and they kind of walk like this. So the animation's not there. The animation's not there. It's not there. I give you that. Yeah, it's not there. I couldn't, couldn't do it. Okay, but let's be honest. When has Marvel ever had good animation? That's There's true. Never been DC. DC's always oh. DC's always had a. Or Warner, better, Warner better. Brothers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, DC's always had better had had yeah, the better a, animation. I like that Warner Brothers. Don't yeah. don't don't don't. Yeah, I mean because I mean <laughs> Super Friends. You know, back in the day, or just, they they were bad. That was bad. But I didn't even watch those as a kid because they were bad. They were bad, but I needed something that was superheroes. I had to have it. I had to watch. See, it. I just settled for G Force and like okay, close enough. Ooh, oh, G Force. G Force was legit and. Which is, I know it's bad. <laughs> it's bad. But we are getting a live action on. remake on yes. uh, Netflix, I think, is doing Woo. it. Yeah. So I'm really looking forward to that. I'm like, bring it on. Because if they can give me a translation similar to what they did with Umbrella Academy, mm. which oh, wow. to me is, is the gold standard of conversions at this point. Like, God bless America. Give it to me. I, woof. Man. Um... I can't even how we even got. That was a long trip knocked subject. down nostalgia lane. Yeah. That really was. But my, my boys will be sitting there and be like, yeah, that, that show sucked. Did you have anything good from your childhood? Nope. I mean, it seemed good. Technology. It seemed good when you were a kid. 
It really, like I said, there's a yeah, filter. You know, we had, um, oh, there's a filter. There was that one thing we had that my kids don't use nowadays called outside. We had that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. In but imagination. That. <laughs> In imagination. imagination. Yeah. Oh, Man. That's boring. <laughs> Yeah, where's well, the action? We, in we didn't have toys that made the noise for us. We had to make our own noises. Pew pew. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, they made noises. They just weren't good at. Yeah, no. Wait, what is that? No, no. not the hey. Millennium Falcon. No, you get those toys from the dollar store now. I was gonna say some of us poor kids couldn't get those toys that even made noise. <laughs> so, just saying. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> just saying, I had a really cap guns were cool. Oh, yeah. They stank, but they were great. My Cap kid. guns were cool. They were actually, I think they actually had gunpowder. They still make them. Mm-hmm. They still Do they make really? Them. Yeah, you can still Kids get them. Kids don't want that stuff. You Most can still of the caps get them. don't work. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. you get them at like a dollar store or whatever, yeah. but they usually don't work very well. Because kids don't want that now. No. It's, it's you know, like, yeah, but, <laughs> but, you know, there's no screen in front of them. There's no aliens to shoot. There's no... So before we end, I want to bring up one other piece of business, so to speak, that I think is really interesting. Kevin Feige moving to Star Wars. Yeah, but is he moving? Is I don't think he's moving. I don't think he's moving. He's just overseeing. He's just he's just overseeing or producing but a film. Does I don't that think give he's you moving. hope? No. 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 Unless he does more, it's just it's just kind of like them giving him a, a special treat. Like, hey, wow, you've made us billions of dollars. Here's a special treat. What what universe do you want to play in? I don't even think it's that. You you're hoping that he's going to be the replacement for Captain no, no, Kennedy. No 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 no. I think it's, hey, we're in bad shape. Use his name. Fix this. Mm-hmm. It's not a hey. Here's a treat for you. Hey, here's a here's a Rubik's cube. We can't figure out. So, but we heard that you know how to do this. Please, yeah, please show, fix show this. us how how to do this. They they usually admit their mistakes. Why haven't they admitted that? The last movie just sucked. You know, they... I... Uh, it, it's, it's, it's almost like they didn't really screen it, or nobody nobody, no. nobody now, from Disney was on production. I don't know how true this is, but there is a rumor that they're all under a gag order that they can't talk about that last movie. And I think... I want to say J.J. Abrams put them all under it. Like, mm-hmm. let's, let's just stop. Let's just stop. We're going to focus on our movie. We're going to focus on Last Skywalker... Uh, or the or Rise of Skywalker or whatever, and when people ask you about Last Jedi, you just you just say, yeah, I was in that movie, but here we're going to talk about Rise of Skywalker and just don't even talk about it. <laughs> yeah, that was a movie, <laughs> right? I'm like yeah, it had Jedi in the title, so let's talk about Last uh, the Rise of Skywalker. No, yeah, I think they're going to retcon as much of that as possible. I don't know if they are or not, and honestly, at this point, I don't care i'm just i'm ready for the skywalker story to be over you know I, I, and here here's a here's a throwback to the 80s because you know i think at one in one other show i said i wouldn't mind seeing them richard don or that whole movie and you know that didn't happen jr ewing it you know at, have him wake up in the shower and like yeah. <laughs> comes out like okay hey yeah, i had this weird dream last night Poe po, 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 po would wake up in the shower and was like whoa i was gonna do something very stupid at the beginning of the movie and kill yeah. everybody with me yeah but that uh, i don't just, uh, movie just do your homework on new jr ewing was so. <laughs> or patrick duffy yeah yeah um who who I always consider TV's first Aquaman, but we can talk about that show Ooh. later. You remember that show he did? Yeah. You remember that show, Patrick? Did you ever see Patrick Duffy's show? This is don't don't. This is back in the eighties. Um, aged myself. It was after time. Dallas was over, and he did a show where he was some kind of merman or whatever, and it was like every time he got in water, like the, part of the intro was him in the shower and he would breathe, and all of a sudden you'd see like the gills start to appear out. on his neck or whatever. No, but I know what I'm God. looking up tonight. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, go look that junk up. I watched it as a kid because I thought he was supposed to be Aquaman. I didn't know. I was like, and then when they didn't call him Aquaman or whatever, it's like, well, they don't call him Aquaman. This is kind of stupid. I don't get it. Like, he's not, I mean, where's Black Manta? He's not going to it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, look it up. Yeah, One thing up. I remember him being on after that was the that show with Suzanne Summers where step they had all the kids. There you go. Day by day. <laughs> I don't. Man. I'm not with him. This whole episode is just that. a nostalgia trip. I don't know that. This show um, is over. Down. Real quick, though, back to Kevin Feige. I think, I, I, I like what you're, where you're going, but... One movie ain't gonna do it. No, it's not. 
And and they want to do and they this don't like to do standalone movies. Yeah, I think Maybe. that's what it is. This okay, is but, oh hey yeah we we can we can put you under this. Who is it that you need underneath you that will fix this? And that's where they'll oh, get a Dave Filoni. No, or you know what it is ease. because they still got Ryan Johnson under mm-hmm. contract for a new <laughs> trilogy. Wait a minute. No, you put Feige in charge of him because Feige will produce with the leash. film <laughs> with, with a say, leash. With a leash. Yes, and then they can get what they want what they think they saw out of Ryan Johnson when they gave him the movie in the first place mm-hmm. and get whatever they you know want to get out of him for that new trilogy. Yeah, anytime he comes in, we're like, all right, Feige gets to look at it and goes with a big red marker. And, and, and a out. highlighter in one mm-hmm. hand and a black marker in the and other. And they say, you know, like, be he can't screen, even... Uh, movie is delayed I'm, another two months. Right? Right. Hey, yeah. and I'm talking about I'm talking about so strict, he can't even yell action on set unless he looks over at Kevin and Kevin gives him the nod. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can see that. I, I could see that. see that too. I could also see them maybe bringing him in to oversee whatever we and Benioff are doing, mm-hmm. because their trilogy. A lot of people are hoping. I have no hope for that. I, have I no do hope because for that. a lot of people are hoping that they're going to do Knights of the oh Old Republic. That I, see that kind of reaction right there. If we can get Darth Bane, Darth Bane. Not, oh. Yes. See again with Revan. And, again. Oh man, come on. That's again, the best, that's the best. They are Star taking Wars a story, story that's already out there and just like they can't do their own stuff. In my opinion. They can't successfully do their own stuff. But they, but they gotta have a roadmap already out there. Yeah, that's where, where I was gonna go with this though. Back it up to what Kevin Feige did for the Marvel Universe is he set out a roadmap, and he had little pit stops along the way that was like, hey, we can come back and explore this. We don't have to, mm-hmm. but we set it up where there's nods all throughout to where we can come back and be like, oh yeah, hey, this was part of it all all along. But he had an overall picture of where he was going. Star Wars, they're making it up as they go. Mm-hmm. Right each now, each yeah, person yeah. who's coming, JJ made up that story. They he was not given direction. He like has said this in interviews, and then uh, with Ryan Johnson, same thing. Where it was like, well, yeah, we were just told, you know, that that we're making the next movie, but it wasn't. There's no overarching story of and that's why going. they're bringing Feige that's in. That's why they're bringing Feige in. It's right. gotta be. So and right. that's what and we talked about this earlier real quick. Uh, before we run out of time, we talked about Bob Iger's book. One of the things he talked about in that book was George Lucas, who <laughs> was Peace. hurt and pissed mm-hmm. about when he saw Abrams' movie and the Ryan Johnson movie, even though they brought him in to consult. Because, in microverse. Well, because he gave them outlines for yeah. the next three films and he sold Lucas uh, film under the impression uh, that impression they that it. they were going to use those uh, mm-hmm. scripts to then carry it forward. They barely even looked at them before they went and did something completely different, and it I, it just hurt. That's why you don't even hear from George Lucas anymore. Mm-hmm. I mean, it really hurt that man in his soul. Here's the, the thing that kills me about Disney because real they quick, are because we're going to run out of time. I, I'm making it real quick. Um, they're, they're one trick pony. We lost all of that. It was good too. You guys missed it. That was that was great. Are we recording again? We're recording again. All right. Well, that's it for this week. Sorry <laughs> <laughs> for the rough edit there. <laughs> <laughs> but it's been a couple weeks and we forgot how to work stuff. So until until next week, till we see you again. Remember, tell them f you. <laughs>